All right, so uh, it's like April 7th. We're still on that uh, crazy stay-at-home order lockdown. But it's uh, 80 degrees, so it was 50 two days ago, 80 yesterday, 80 today, and then back to 50 tomorrow. So welcome to Missouri weather. Uh, that's pretty much what we have here. So I don't think there's going to be any days in the 70s for the next 15 or so days. So we're going to take a ride. I get a break from all the insanity and uh, have a ride. We're going to take a ride today. It's going to be our first, our first stop on the Gateway Harley Owners Group. It's a local chapter here that we uh, just joined when we came back. And they've got a 2020 ride challenge. And one of those, the closest one, is Sandy Creek Covered Bridge. So we're going to take and do that ride today. I'm not sure how many, like around 20, 20 spots. This is number five, but it's our first one. And that's probably all the time we have for today. So we're going to go check that out. Sandy Creek Covered Bridge in uh, outside of Hillsboro, Missouri, not too far from where I went to uh, high school, but believe it or not, I never came here. This is the first time I've ever been here. I lived here, I grew up here, uh, but basically my house was actually closer to the next town over DeSoto, so I spent most of my time in, in DeSoto. 
It looks like there's some uh, trails, picnic tables, cool places to eat, and it's a dead end back here at the park, so it's a nice little small park to come have a picnic. Kids can play in the water. And this was our first stop on the Gateway Harley Owners Group 2020 Challenge. So we've taken our picture, we're gonna put it to the Gateway Harley Facebook page, and I'm gonna head down here to the water in just a second. Sandy Creek Covered Bridge. It's a nice little park for a picnic. Maybe mm -hmm. bring the dogs or the kids to play in the water. You can probably spend a day here, I guess. Yeah. But I think for the most part, if you're not enjoying the water, it's probably gonna be a quick picnic stop. Took a little bit of a rest, and now we're gonna get back on the bikes. So we just got back from our first destination on the Gateway 2020. Gateway Harley? Is it 365? Uh, no, no, it's the 20, 2020 Challenge. Okay. It's the Ride 2020 Challenge, I think is what it's called. And this was destination number five. What do you think about the, the first of all, the uh, Sandy Creek Bridge? It's cute. It's cute. Mm -hmm. And how about the ride? What was your best part of the ride? Get in and drink a water. No. <laughs> Winding, she was Thursday at the end. Yeah, so <clears throat> from St. Louis, we just basically took Highway 21, which out of the city limits, not that much fun until you get to Old Highway 21, which is right at the Merrimack River. Mm -hmm. And then you get on Old Highway 21, you basically take that all the way there, just that you'll see the sign for Sandy Creek Covered Bridge to the left, and what, about two miles from there, off? Right off the 
right off 21. Yeah, it wasn't far away. Yeah, it was right off 21, and you just go back there, hit Old Lee May Ferry Road, and it dead ends to the right at uh, Sandy Creek Bridge. And then on the way out, we just basically came straight back up Old Lee May Ferry, which was the old highway, but it was really nice. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, it's actually good highway, yeah. but it's an old highway, so it's nice and curvy and goes through some really good terrain. So we had a great time. It's only about 45 minutes from St. city limits of St. Louis, so hour and a half, two hour round trip, depending on how much time you spend there. So if you're in St. Louis and you want to have a nice ride, that would be a good one for just a quick afternoon or a morning ride. Well, don't forget they had the picnic areas too. Yeah, yeah, they had picnic areas. We took some pictures of that. So, I mean, you can hang out there. And like we said uh, earlier, um, the water is very shallow. And it was a little bit deeper parts, but I don't think it was more than four, four or five feet, maybe just a swimming hole there. Um, but it's very clear water, which is nice to find in Missouri because there's a lot of muddy rivers. Yes. But you do find clear creeks, Springford creeks, and that's one of them, Sandy Creek in Hillsboro, Missouri. So check it out. Yep.